in the mirror lately, wish you could trade eyes with me, cause am I alive? Okay. Um, okay, just a sec. Um, all right. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hello, princess. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's go. Okay, this is weird. This is really weird. Hold on, let me let people know that I'm live. By people, I don't know. I mean Instagram. Um, let's, let me just start off by saying, I have no idea what I'm doing. If that wasn't blatantly obvious, let's show. Okay. Um, I have, where's my notebook? No real game plan, we're just kind of winging it. I just thought this would be a fun thing to try out, apparently. The picture didn't take, so we'll try that again. I'm a mess, but hello. How are you? Yes, I will be there. Hi. Sorry, I'm trying the picture again because um, I don't know what happened the first time. Okay, so as we are giving people an opportunity to show up, if that's a thing they'd like to do, um, how's everyone's Friday going? What are we up to today? There, princess, there is no real game plan. I have some things to touch on that might be interesting but I'm really just kind of winging it right now trying to not I'm just I'm really just surprised that I'm here considering that I um frequently um what am I trying to say I frequently let anxiety get the best of me and I panic cancel things frequently so frequently you will know time <laughs> okay, but she scheduled the appointment and I'm proud. I'm proud of that, honestly. Oh no. Oh no. I'll I'll be there in a few days, <laughs> Princess. Um I already feel this is TMI. I don't care the pre-cramping happening, so I love that for me. Okay, so I guess, didn't say though, I am gonna start calling it that. I guess we just start talking about stuff, I guess. Um, so, I guess like one of the things that was recommended that I talk about, because I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, but just like, tell, let me know. What are you, what are y'all's? Ooh. <laughs> I just tried to control several accents just then. Current quarantine 
Rona obsessions since we seem to be stuck in this for an indefinite amount of time. I woke up ready to set Twitter on fire. Is that about the, the reading rush mess? I didn't read their statement. Should I read their statement? Should I, should I waste my time reading their statement? Um, what am I about to do? It would help if I had shared the link. Yeah. Yeah, I've been buying. I've been buying. Jesus. The amount of books I have bought since we have been locked down is um, unfortunate. Embarrassing is a good one. I, I don't have anywhere to store these books that I keep bringing into the house, but um, does that stop me? No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, book buying is definitely one of my obsessions. Um, personally, I've got, I don't know why I said it like that. That was aggressive. I'm really sorry. <laughs> personally, I have gotten back into baking during this time. So that's, that's a plus. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen that. I have been baking a lot of bread lately. I've been baking um, a lot of things based on books recently. So that's where I'm at, which, and then, you know, eating said baked goods. I've been working my way through Hunger Games inspired breads it's because we know how I feel about the Hunger Games. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to right now. What else am I up to? Um, been drinking more coffee than probably necessary. Bones coffee, specifically, that's the best coffee out there. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, that I just shook the whole thing. Actually, book two became my new obsession during quarantine. Ah, so what, what booktubers are you watching right now, aside from me? I like to do a bookshelf tour. I that is a goal of mine to do a bookshelf tour. Here's the issue with that. Um, I am currently in a tiny, tiny apartment with just a tiny, tiny bookshelf. So the rest of my books are in various. I have books in containers. I have books on the table. I have books actually in storage. So. I'm saving the bookshelf tour for when I finally move and actually have the bookshelf that I deserve. But I do want to do, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I do want to do a uh, big haul video of the things I've been, the books I bought during quarantine. I love Cindy. Um, I remember when Cindy posted her first video. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? I've been making a lot of candles while stuck in the house, which 
is good, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, um, I don't know what I was about to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that is another talk, uh, another thing I do want to talk about at some point, though. Candles. six bookshelves and 800 books. Honestly, that's gonna be me. I already know it, it's fine. Um, you are living the dream right now. Would I ever do a candle making video? Like a, a full one? Possibly, yeah. I, I know I do, um, I put a lot of clips of me making candles in my vlogs, but if that's something people would like to see, then yeah, i do a full video of the candle and make, I, I guess so, yeah, yeah. Um, I also have been, a while ago, when I first started, opened my shop on Etsy, no, no it wasn't, it, whenever, I did like a full haul, haul video going through the candles that I had at the time and it's been so long that I've been thinking uh, that it's time to do another one um, especially because I like I am at the point where I it's actually becoming I can confidently call it a business now you know um, getting more uh, what's it called traffic and orders so I think that it's time to film another video letting y'all know what's in the shop. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do some book buying, but I, I can't this week because I just, I just placed an order for some snacks from, uh, Holland from the box of snacks from Holland because uh, last January, what, yeah, wow. Uh, my mom and I were in Europe. We were um, in Amsterdam and well, we went to, it was Dublin to Amsterdam to London and Manchester. Anywho, so I've been like just missing the food, not necessarily the food because they don't put salt in their food and I'm just like, oh, okay. Um, they only know salt and pepper as seasonings. I'm like, but the snacks, the snacks, um, so I got like a box of like chips, crisps, sorry, crisps, and juice and tea <laughs> coming all the way from Europe. I, I have nothing else to do with my time and money right now. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be singing um, Beyonce periodically through this because I woke up to watch Black is King. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it. That's the tweet. What? <laughs> I feel so, I'm so, so, sorry, this is weird, sorry about that. I am such, I'm an awkward person. This is, this is why I put this off for so long, because videos are easy. I have like um, something I want to talk about or need to talk about. I do it. I'm done. I edit it. I edit out the weirdest parts. But this is like, here's Amber, who is not as, not as cool as she pretends to be. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, 
I guess this is the best time to ask, what are we reading right now? I mean, I don't know why it's taken. How long have I been streaming? 13, 15 minutes, 14 minutes to ask what um, people are reading on a, a book tube channel. Oh my God. The music is chef's kiss. Um, one, thank you, princess. I'm not cool, but but I'll take it. I, this is a fun question. I, one, all the languages I speak, I pretend that I am better at than I am. Um, I started studying French in high school. So all through high school. Um, and I guess I kept up the study on my own. So I'm not, I'm not fluent, but I'm not terrible. I could survive in France, I believe. At least I could at least order, I can, I can order food and, um, get around. So I think I, I have the basics down and I've, I've been trying to actively keep it up. So French, you know, not like that, Amber, French, <laughs> um, uh, Italian. Hmm. I started, I, I studied Italian for my brief stint in college and I've started German. Um, and I didn't start Romanian. I am, I attempted to start Romanian. That's a thing I'd like to pick up. Um, those are the those are the main ones that I have various levels of comprehension and can speak. French is the one that I um, am actually okay with, okay in. Um, but there are a lot that I that are on my list that I want to learn. Also, I love the beautiful so much, and I need to start reading the damned ASAP. Also, I need to read Crown of Feathers. I have so many books I need to read. Ugh, my TBR is leaving. But that is middle sun. I always have multiple books on the Um, I think we're supposed to read Middle Sun in high school. <laughs> But I, I have it somewhere. Um, I love to reread it at some point now that I'm like an adult and uh, I'm not being forced to read it because at that point when I was when I got to be a senior, I just started skimming through books. Uh, so at some point, I need to actually read it. I love Spin the Dawn. Spin the Dawn was so good. I was so surprised by how much I liked it. Um, I mean, I knew I was going to like it because uh, it was pitched as Mulan meets Project Runway. I love retellings. I think everyone knows that. And uh, so I knew I was going to like it. I just didn't know I was going to like it. Does that make sense? Love from A to Z. I hear a lot of good things about that. Um, you're gonna have to let me know how that is, Ash. I am not reading anything right now. Well, that, that's not true. I started reading an arc of, what is the book called? Am I, can you still see me? Hello? Am I still here? I think I froze, hold on. What happened? Um, hello? Can you hear me? What just happened? Where'd I go? Yep, yep, I'm still, okay. I don't know how to unfreeze it. So just give me a second, see if we How do I, okay, am I gonna have to restart this chat? Because that's not a vibe.
Okay. Uh, Am I still for okay? Okay. Uh, why? Why? Okay, I'm gonna re Hello? Is this in my back? In my back? Okay. That was weird. All right. What was I saying? Um, oh, I have started reading, that was annoying, an arc of Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. Um, he was the author of Fixer Up. I just needed an in-between after I read, <laughs> I read um, thank you, thank you, I feel welcome back. I read uh, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And uh, I have regrets. I I I will I'm reclaiming my time. So yeah, I'm about to start tomorrow starts the Disney Thon though, so I am kinda hype about that. I've finalized my TBR, so that video I was gonna upload it today, but I didn't want I don't know why I just thought it'd be weird to have the, the video in the live today, so I'll just upload it. I'm gonna upload it tomorrow. Um, it is disappointing. I, <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> I have, I feel, <laughs> so I have a vlog, a reading vlog of it, so, but I'm go only gonna suggest reading, watching it, if A, you've read the book, or two, a or two, <laughs> or B, um, you have no intention of reading it because it's very spoilery. There's a lot of um, stressing. I love The Hunger Games with my whole heart, the original trilogy. And when, um, so I had a lot of expectations for this one. Sorry that I keep moving this, but the, it keeps sliding. Anyway. I had a lot of expectations, and Miss Collins seems to have forgotten how to write in this world, I think. And also, who asked for a book about snow? I did not. I didn't. I've been begging for a Finnick book for years, for years. So. Um, yeah, I'm excited for, for Disney-a-thon. I'm on Team Hercules. Uh, Princess, what team are you on for the fawn? Oh. Um, I... Are you... I'm trying to tell myself, like, you can still take part of the readathon even though you know you're already going to lose because I'm not reading the group book for my team. Exactly, no one wants to know about snow. You're right. No one wants to know about snow, and you're right, Princess and the Frog. I had such a hard time choosing uh, a team for Disney a thon. I'm sorry, I see I'm so all over the place. I'm really sorry. Because I love all of the movies that were options. But I went with Hercules because um one, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to sing zero to hero in my tbr video because i'm a loser and two because the prompts kind of fit what i already want to read in august 
So mostly because there was the prompt of read a book with a strong male character and I really want to read Work Against the Night. Is that what the second Ember book is? Um, so that's that. I'm also swapping, like I said, I'm not reading the group book, but I, so I'm swapping uh, the sequel to City of Brass for that because priorities. <laughs> you don't like the little mermaid? I always assumed because Collins had Katniss vote to continue the Hunger Games, which I felt was out of character. Um, it's because she would write another Hunger Games out. I mean, yeah, I, I think it was out of character, but I also think at that point, Katniss was so like broken that everything was, she was beyond caring about these people and they, they killed her sister. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know what? An eye for an eye. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just like, it, uh, if you're going to give me, if we're going to do this, one, do it well, two, oh, my nails still match the cover, two, give us a character that, like, people care about. No one cares about Snow. No one, and the way it was done. Anyway, so maybe this is a good thing, because then I'll stop begging for Phoenix's book or Heyman's book because it'll be trash and I don't I don't deserve that I did not tattoo a trident on my I didn't do it myself I didn't have a tattoo a trident tattooed on my arm for her to disrespect me and Phoenix like that I forgot you haven't read the series yet Prince. <laughs> Uh. Huh? No, no, she doesn't. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. What? What? <laughs> Who? I don't know what you're talking about. No, not that sister. I'm talking about someone completely, completely different. A complete different sister. <laughs> Wait a minute! Excuse me, Miss Edwards, are you really telling me you never met, read Mockingjay? Are you just telling me this right now? I have known you for... I'm blocking you on everything. I'm blocking you on everything. I was gonna... Um, see, now I... I can... Fine. Fine, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> we will talk about this later. Um, oh, oh. Hold on, before I move on, let me say. Also, um, I, <laughs> I'm still laughing at uh, your comment, Princess, about The Little Mermaid. I, I was obsessed with that with that movie for so long. When I was um, really little, I used to walk around in my little pajama onesie. And for some reason, I had it in my head that the onesie I could meant I had <laughs> had one leg, what not one leg, a tail. Because um, I had like my leg. It doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense, but I used to want to be Ariel and I was in love with Prince Eric. And honestly, to, I'm very bitter that um, if we are going to have a 
white man play opposite Hallie in the live action movie. I'm mad it's not Harry Styles, and I'm never going to shut up about it. <laughs> Booktubers do spoil books. We are awful. We are the worst. Um, we should all be canceled. But um, hopping back real quick to... Um, Excuse me. Languages and whatnot. I don't know if y'all know, but I have a second YouTube channel. And it's actually mostly dedicated to language learning and travel. Well, I don't know what I'm doing with this computer. And travel um, and stuff. But being that we are stuck at home and as an American citizen, I'm not allowed to go anywhere out of this country, even if I was the type of person to put other people at risk in travel during the pandemic, which I'm not. Um, so I just thought I'd come to one community and I just need, I need to figure out what to put there right now. If you were watching a travel channel or a language channel, during a global pandemic when traveling is not really an option, what would you want to see? What content would you want to see? I was thinking, I was thinking, because one thing I did want to add on the channel as like part of the travel, the travel segment um, would be like, you know, food in different places. I had, um, I had this whole idea that I was going to, um, because I had I had the idea around like the anniversary of the Europe trip. I was going to find different restaurants in my area that serve like English food and, um, you know, rank them, find the best ones, or or like my favorite diner food or whatever. So I'm thinking maybe I might. Just uh, recreate rec some recipes from my def my favorite countries and places I've traveled. Um, I don't know. I also want to go to Russia. I wanted to go to Russia since I was little because I've always been obsessed with Anastasia. So, <laughs> so I there's always something. There's always a reason. Um, I feel like that's one of those places, though, <laughs> if you say out loud, I want to go to Russia, especially in this country, like, why? It's like, uh, it's pretty, and I, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, why? But, um, where's the first place you'll go, like, when I can? Aside from Vancouver, since I was supposed to... I was supposed to be in Canada, like at the time that we were put, the stay in home orders were put in place. <laughs> I want to go to Scotland. That's, that's, uh, that was, that was the next trip I was planning out of the country was Scotland. But here we are. Um, I don't know, what about y'all? Where, where, aside from Russia, where, what place is on the top of your travel bucket list? I just keep randomly moving this computer around because it keeps moving. Most of my trips are based around the food that I can get uh, someplace. I like, I love food, so. That's why Nashville is my favorite U.S. city. Because, bless. Also, I just like, I love Nashville. I was surprised that I would. But the vibe there is a lot of fun. Um, New Zealand! Sorry, I'm so sorry. New Zealand is the top of my travel bucket list. I'm so sorry that I just screamed at you. New Zealand is my dream place. I would, I, 
Compose yourself. I have wanted to go there since um, since I first saw the Naughty movie. It was like, this is a dream. Um, so new, yes, yes. The Netherlands is incredible. It's beautiful. Um, Amsterdam is one of my favorite places. I would love to go to Belgium. I, I want to go to Belgium and I want to eat some Belgian chocolate. And yes, Dawn, I know you want to go to Tuscany. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. My mom's in the chat, y'all. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Ooh, that is a really good idea, princess. Um, I probably have to sit down and actually think about it because most of my strategy is stressing <laughs> and crying. You can ask my mother. Um, oh, but I, I love potatoes. I eat, I eat a lot of potatoes in my life, so that might not be a problem for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am going. I'm going to write that down. Where's my pen? Um, would you ever plan a group trip? Yes, I would love to do that. That was, I made a fun little list of things I wanted to do before my birthday this year, like a bucket list. And one of the things was actually to plan a, a, plan a, a, girl, a girl's trip, a group trip. But once again, here we are. Um, how to nomically. I used to hate that word when I was little, economically. Don't ask questions. <laughs> For travel. Noted. Um, actually, that actually works too because I, I do have trip tips that I've learned along the way about also like, I guess budgeting and surviving internationally. <laughs> You're broke. Um, yeah. That's actually, yeah. Ooh, Abu Dhabi. Yes. Yes. On my list for a while also, but my mom wouldn't go with me, so. How about New Zealand? You're going to make me yell about New Zealand again? You know how I feel about New Zealand. Don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> These are some good places. Y'all are making me like wanderlust itchy. Chile and see the Atacama Desert. Fun fact. Um, I, okay, so I, I, I won't call myself a plant mom, but I, I've always loved cacti, cactuses, cacti. And I've always just like, that's been my plant of choice. And my first ever one, I named Atacama. She lived for a very long time until a tragic accident. Excuse me, but I do like, um, I named them all after de various deserts, except for two that were gifts. They came pre-named. They were named Dora and Diego. But um, yeah, also on my list, I want to go to um, Costa Rica. That's very high on my list. Very high. I have a whole video about um, my Wanderlust bucket list and, well, my international Wanderlust bucket list. I've been toying with the idea of doing filming the, the U.S. domestic Wanderlust bucket list, but I'm kind of pissed off with this country right now, so I don't want to give it any sort of accolades. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but yeah, that that I'm actually going to start working on that video one. Probably when I'm done with this. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot really quick. Um, another thing I talked about this. I mentioned candles. Um, so what? Oh, bringing the topic of candles back up. I'm always trying to figure out what books to like. You know do candles uh, for, um, and I, I want to make a point to do more 
Candles by Black, or Candles, Candles based on books by Black authors. Um, I have the CBB trio. Um, I have the, I have a Candle for the Bells. And I, I want to do one for Kingdom of Souls. But um, I feel like, I always feel like most of my candles are, I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm, I've been trying to like figure out also because like some of the the worlds that I have read recently that I would want that could make a good candle. I also haven't liked the book. I'm working on the Rowan candle. He is coming. That was inappropriate. I didn't mean for that to be inappropriate. Oh no, book outlet's never going to sponsor me. So I'm not family friendly. <laughs> Anywho, let's swiftly move on. So aside from Rowan, from CBB, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who, what, what, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like I said, I want to do a Kingdom of Souls candle, but I don't necessarily know what in what way I would represent the books, you know? Um, so, I mean, even if not in the chat, always I'm always open to ideas. Um, Oh, oh, actually, speaking of Black authors and Black books by Black authors, have I already actually already been streaming for like almost 45 minutes? Hello? Um, I thought this was going to be like a quick thing. I, for any romance babies or any that might watch later, I have, I have some Talia Hibbert inspired candles coming to the shop that I'm so excited about. I wanted to do like a collection um, inspired by like love interests in romance novels. So obviously I started with my favorite author, romance author and favorite romance um, novels. So I like that my mom's asking questions in the chat as if she doesn't know the answers. Why are you why are you being like this? But um I'll be right back. Where are you? Okay, so I have these labeled and ready to go, my Zephyr candles. Which way does this go? Which I I love. I love him with my whole heart. And these smell they <laughs> they kind of smell like orange Tootsie Pops. <laughs> Which is weird because it's there's no chocolate chocolate in there, but they smell real good. And I just poured my Redford candle. Um, I'm waiting for those to set before I label them. But I'm very excited to add those to the shop, and I'm very excited to to burn my own ones. And I'm not answering this question, mother. You're not going to expose me on the tube, okay? I... I think it kind of covers everything I wanted to talk about. That I wanted to talk about. I didn't plan any of this. <laughs> this was fun. This was fun. What's up with the number though? Let's hear them vocal. I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I don't what? <laughs> Who? Look. 
Look, I, I'll say I'm not tone deaf. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, I don't know. Y'all, y'all for me. Y'all, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I used to post covers on this channel back in the day. I segue, Amber. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, I'll tell you this. Hello. Thank you for popping in. Um, I don't know. Somebody leave some something and I might do something, you know? What? I'm also like parched and sweaty. Like this isn't this isn't singing. El like the right elements. No. Why you and my mom told me to sing Beyonce? What? Why? She just texted me and said Beyonce. Y'all are trying to get me dragged on the internet. Also, I do love that song though. I do love that song. Mmm. There she is. <laughs> you see how red I just turned? I I hate it. How do I okay? I might. I'll Ooh. <laughs> oh. Why do I suddenly not remember the words? Hold on. It's in my heart. A melody I start but can't complete. Okay. All the time has come and my dreams will be heard. They will not be pushed aside or turned into your own. All because you won't. Listen, I'm not doing that. I am alone at a crossroads. I'm not at home in my own home. And I try and try to say a song of mine. You should have known. Oh, now I'm done believing you. You don't know what I'm feeling. I'm more than what. You made of me, I followed the voice you gave to me. Mm. And that's where you missed on Glee. I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> Thank you. I'm my mom's been harassing me to actually cover that song for a very long time. And um, there it is. There it is, Dawn. <laughs> Are we even now, princess? Like, can you forgive me now for the, the, the Mockingjay incident? <laughs> Thank you. My my That's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day now. I'm not complaining, but Oh, since so speaking of Beyonce, since we're here, what is your favorite song off of the gift and I guess and or in um Black is King? Because that could they could be two different answers. Thank you. What's your request? <laughs> I'm scared. Mm 
<laughs> Wait a minute. While while we're, I'm waiting for the request, CoStar, my day at a glance on CoStar says, you have gifts that you're not using. Can y'all chill? Okay, okay. What is TBC, Dawn? Um, so yeah, I honestly, if we're talking about singing, I'm most comfortable with like show tunes. That's my wheelhouse. Theater is like my first love, if I've never made that clear. You know, like Disney songs and stuff. <sighs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> I always mix up the words. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but the thing, the whole page froze. Are you guys still there? <laughs> Can you hear me? I don't know. If you're here, hi. <laughs> I don't, I was annoying. That's, this is irritating, StreamYard. Okay, I'm bad. I don't know, this is my first time using StreamYard. 
Um, so I'm not sure how normal this is. Okay, but hi, I'm back, I think. What were we talking about? What were we doing? Y'all are trying to make me sing again. Is my computer freezing? I hope this isn't like me. Is this a me problem? Oh, this is getting irritating. But I'm going to see what it looks like on my phone. Because I don't know what's going on here. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, so you can still hear me. That's fine. So like, my whole computer is frozen. But you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. <sighs> okay. So what are we doing? What are we doing? No way, I won't say you no, know, no. You are giving just a green over This scene won't play, I won't say I'm in love. I have to, I haven't actually, I wonder if it was the last time I watched her, Gillies. I need to watch it, especially if I'm going to be on Team Hercules. That's a good song. Um, I think my, what's my favorite Disney song? My favorite Disney song, I have two actually. One, my glasses are so dirty. One is, my favorite ones to sing are A Whole New World and Part of Your World. Sorry. Um, right? I think so. I think those are my favorite, yeah. And, um, The Broadway version of The Circle of Life makes me cry all the time. So. There's an empty. What do you think my collection's complete? What do you think I'm the girl? Boy. Girl who has everything. Look at this troll. Trevor. Trevor's. <laughs> Treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Well, I'll give you think. Sure. She's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos of plenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's going. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see. Want to see. <laughs> see him dance. <laughs> uh, that ill. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look. I love Moana. I've been standing at the edge of the water. Um, 
my I stand um the version of you're welcome the Jordan Fisher version. Batman. Batman. When you fast asleep, I have to take this ear out. <laughs> no matter how your heart is beating, if you keep on believing, dream is a wish. What lyric do you have? Um, or is it just a dream is a wish your heart makes? Your tattoo. That's what we could have talked about. We could have had a whole chat about tattoos. <laughs> I could really just, maybe next time the chat will just be me singing Disney songs because that's, that's a vibe. <laughs> that is a whole vibe. Um, God Help the Outcast from Hunchback is also, I love that song. Agreed, definitely agree. I definitely agree. That song, I think that <laughs> Hello song fully encapsulates what Disney is. <sighs> if I had known that this would have just ended up me having like a Disney binge, I would have done this a long time ago. Um, yeah, we've been at this for an hour, so I don't have anything else to talk about. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I've broken the ice. So I think that this could be a, we'll say semi-regular thing right now because I don't need that kind of pressure on my life. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I think next time I probably talk about like writing some that's the thing I didn't talk about today. Um, oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I, I'm, I've actually never been to Disney. Um, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, how many, what do I want to What? Who? But yeah, um, next time, I think we're gonna do some, some chat about what I'm writing and probably more Disney because I think, oh, tattoos. That is a good question. <laughs> I, before I end this, off the top of my head, I have what four planned for future ones planned. So that will bring me to a total of what 11. It's going to kill me when I leave this room. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't want to talk about it. My feelings are hurt. I, I actually do have a whole story about um, Disney. Maybe I'll talk about that. I'll write that down and talk about that next next tree. I yes, I this was fun. I it was easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I didn't have any sort of meltdown, so that's nice. Um but yeah, I might should this be like a weekly thing? Maybe, I'll think on it. And I'm gonna start working on that uh, video for my second channel. But yeah, thank you all for being here. This was this was fun. I only have one earring on. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. 
because I'm hungry. I was hungry when I started this. Um, yeah, I don't know how to end. I don't know how to end the live, so I'm gonna peace out. Y'all are great. Y'all are the best. Au revoir.